Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Well today we got a little truck maintenance or upgrade for you. Today we're going to be installing the Load Lifter XL 7500 7 inch airbags to our Ford Super Duty. So stay with me. Okay, so today we're going to unbox and install these Load Lifter 7500XL airbags to our Ford Super Duty Dually. Um, these are 7 inch airbags, so they're a little bit bigger than the 5000 pound airbags, which are only 5 inch. So let's see what's in the box. This box literally weighs about 50 pounds. It's so heavy. Um, we have our kit with our heat shield and our airline, some zip ties and some miscellaneous hardware. The majority of the hardware is in this bag, as you can see. And we have, let's see, one of the top brackets, huge, heavy duty, eighth inch steel. And we have the caps for the airbags themselves. The airbags, seven inch airbag. And it's the Airlift 58115. Second airbag and parts. And let's see, we have some other heavy duty mounting brackets, super heavy. Now, these are brackets that fit your axle housing. So, they've got, I believe, three different sizes in here. So, you have to pick the one that matches to your axle housing. have the brackets that go around the bottom of the axle. The bottom plate, the airbag. Another one that goes on the bottom of the base plate. These two, super heavy. And finally, the rest of the brackets for the other side. Okay, so we're gonna start by assembling the airbag units. And once we get those assembled, then we will be able to install them on the truck. Okay, so first we're gonna install the air fitting. We're gonna tight hand tight. And then just about a turn and a half. Just enough to lock this thread tape in. go. We're going to add this plate like that. We're going to add a hex bolt like such. Okay, we've got our carriage bolt. We're going to line these up with these holes and add our fine threaded bolts just like that. Okay, now this side's complete. We're gonna flip it over just like this. And install this top plate. Set this aside for a second. We're gonna assemble our bracket. So we've got this piece that goes here. We use a smaller hex bolt just like that. And a washer. The lock nut. And we're just going to hand tighten this. We'll tighten it later. Uh, this has to be able to move. Okay. Then we're going to install two of our long carriage bolts. We're going to set this on our plate like this. And then with our fine threaded bolts, 
and bolt this to the airbag. Then we're going to take the bracket, we chose the right size for our axle, and we're going to install it here, like this, the washer, and a nylon lock nut. There we go. Okay, so now, let's put this back over. Now both of our assemblies are complete, so we're gonna go ahead and get these installed on the truck. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is remove this bumper. Next, we have to move these clips. that get this one that one's kind of stuck there we go okay the next step is to insert these clips I'm gonna go just like this okay so I've installed the two new clips here and then I'm going to install this base plate. Okay, that base plate is installed. Uh, make note that the, um, the large cutout on the right hand side you see in the, in the image there goes on the end board side and then the um, single carriage bolt goes toward the rear. Okay, it's kind of dark under here but you can see I got that assembly put on the driver's side. Pretty straightforward. It's not really too difficult to get them on. Um, the hardest part is getting that top bracket bolt in. Uh, not really any secrets to it that I can give you. It's just a little difficult to get your arm up in there and get to it. Um, but anyway, driver's side is done. So I'm gonna move over to the passenger side. Okay guys, um, I got the passenger side one in. Uh, fairly straightforward again, just like the driver's side. The only catch is, I don't know if you can see it or not, it's not a very good angle, but that top plate, um, I had to take two of the existing bolts out for the fifth wheel hitch and replace them with the bolts to hold in that bracket. So not that big a deal, just hard to get those big uh, 5 16 bolt or 15 16 nuts loose. But I got them. Okay, so I kind of want to show you real quick these two shiny bolts you see here. These are the two bolts that I had to replace for the passenger side um, upper bracket. I mentioned a minute ago that um, they're 15, 16 nuts. I had to break them loose. Uh, basically, the top bracket for the airbag is on the other opposite side of the frame there. And these are really just longer bolts that replace the factory bolts, and they have locking nuts on the other side. So I want to give you a quick shot of what I was actually talking about when I mentioned that top bracket, the uh, the other view wasn't all that great. So that the, that's the most difficult part of this passenger side bag is actually um, replacing those two bolts. Now, one thing I want to point out is this bottom U-bolt uh, here. And you can see right here that I had to cut the bolt off because when you have your truck jacked up, um, that bolt actually hits the sway bar right here. So that's one thing you have to watch out for. And then the same one, exact same thing on the, on the passenger side with that bolt. So this is the passenger side and you can see that I had to cut that bolt off too because it interfered with the sway bar. So that's really the only thing you have to watch out for on the forward side. Okay, so here on the rear of the axle, this is the driver's side again. And there are a couple things that you have to be mindful of. One is you have to make sure that your bolt right here 
coming down is on the inside of this brake line. This one's gonna be on the inside, is gonna be on the outside of the brake line on the passenger side, so you have to watch out for that. Over here on the passenger side, it's actually much easier to get to. As you can see, there's more space. But this brake line will interfere with this bolt, and this bolt has to be on the outside of it. And I was able just to bend, just to tweak this slightly to get clearance. So now I have plenty of clearance. That brake line's not rubbing. There we go. So that's one thing that you have to be extra careful of is that you're not rubbing on that brake line. Uh, the rest of it's pretty straightforward, pretty self, uh, pretty easy to install yourself. I did have to uh, remove both shocks to get them out of the way so I could slide the airbags in. And then you can see, let me move up here, that bright nut and bolt right there. There's two of those for this passenger side bracket. And those um, actually replace two bolts that are in the, fa the factory fifth wheel hitch. So they give you a really nice heat shield so you can kind of keep the heat off of that airbag from this exhaust. Um, but overall, the instructions are really good um, and really simple to follow. Uh, putting them in is really simple. All right, now it's time to install the air lines. I'm just gonna run the air lines back um, to the rear of the truck and uh, put the put the air fittings there by the license plate. Okay, so here's where I installed the two um, air chuck fittings and then um, up underneath the truck, uh, I've routed the two air lines um, around to each airbag. That's kind of the base install is with um, these manual air chucks. All right, so I'm back here with a little airbag update. I wanted to um, kind of leak test and test these airbags out real quick before um, I closed out the video. Now, we've actually traveled about 600 miles with these airbags, and we really like them. They're performing really well for us. I did an initial leak test. I charged them up to about 35 PSI, and then um, let them sit overnight just to make sure I didn't have any leaks. It's very important. They range from five PSI to I think 100 PSI. I, I run about 35 to 40 with the fifth wheel attached and they seem to, to perform really well. Like I said, uh, the ride was really smooth and I'm um, just, just really happy with them. So I wanted to give you that final update um, based on our experience so far with them. I'll put a link to these airbags in the description below. So go check them out for your truck and I think you'll be really happy with them. Thanks for joining me on this video. Um, got the 7500 XL airbags installed on the 2017 F350 Dually. I hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. So that pretty much wraps up this install. Until next time, safe travels. Bye.